Good morning, y'all, and welcome to CC's Texas Garden. So I'm taking y'all out here. Um, let me see what the temp is. It is 58 degrees. 58. It was 49 this morning, but uh, I did not come out here until it's 58 now. <laughs> okay, so uh, I want to plant some more seeds. And I needed to come out here to see where I can plant some more seeds. I do have more buckets. I could do some more buckets. My roselle is looking pretty good. I am getting little buds in different little areas. And of course, up here, I have some. So I do need to start harvesting some of these leaves so I can dehydrate them and have them to make a tea. I did do some rearranging as well. As you can see, I found these little uh, rails here. It's, it's for a bed, but um, found them curbside, um, <laughs> curbside uh, dumpster diving, I guess. Um, and so I found these two racks well, I'm using them as racks, but they're really for, uh, I think, a queen bed or whatever. Maybe a king bed. But it's good for me. It has, you know, I'm able. Let me show you what it looked like. See? It's just what you would put a mattress on. But it's like a little table. And I can put my plants on it. So that's more stuff that is off the ground. Because I know as the winter time comes, a little slithery snakes decide they want to find somewhere to hibernate and I don't want them to pick my garden so um so I moved over my what is this my microgreens and my garlic that's in there I moved it over here so I can put that up there and Everything's looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'm pleased the way my carrots are coming up. Um, now that the weather has started changing, even though we're going to be in the 80s today. Uh, <laughs> but in the morning time, I'm having to water less. I'm just watering now, usually in the evening time, to just have the ground moist. And by the morning, it's still wet, which is good. So that's less watery. I'm happy about that. I used that other bed rack to put my um, little seedlings on. These are all Napa cabbages in there. And uh, we got some onions and different things. So some more cabbages and uh, bok choy and bok choy. And, which I'm going to have to find where to put them, y'all. They have to go somewhere in the garden. <laughs> but everything seemed to be perking up. They're liking the cooler temps. I mean, look at my beans. Look, look at this thing. It's over here budding and everything. It's like, yes. You know, I'm starting to think green beans like the, the coal. They like the cold instead of, well, we had some horrible heat, you know, so. But look at these. Look at these beans. Oh, yeah. These are the Italian flat beans. I love them. <laughs> we have this bed here that's doing pretty good. I think I can put some more stuff in here. You know, I see space. Space means I can put more stuff in there, but I also have to think about seeds that have not came up yet You know, I had this cover Over my tomatoes through the night Not that they're really a detour uh, um, You know the white moth as it was wanting to get under there But I figure I just won't let it be so easy where they can just you know fly and land on it 
So I put that over there. And uh, look at these romas. Yay. They're doing pretty good, even though the temps are dropping. They are still like, let me give you a harvest. That's all I'm looking for, y'all. Is one harvest from it. Um, same with these little cluster. I'm blessed these cluster cherry tomatoes. I don't know what kind of these are. Um, but just one harvest. Just like with the cucumbers. Which now I didn't had two harps off of it. But I was only looking for one more. Just just one more. <laughs> My lantana is enjoying this cooler weather. It's really liking it. And the butterflies are liking it. <laughs> this bed is going good with these cauliflower that I don't like but they of course are doing wonderful <laughs> here is my bed with my uh, mustard greens I would really like them to hurry up and get bigger because I'm ready to eat them <laughs> ready to eat them I planted my um, turnips out over here and for a couple days they look like they just might wouldn't make it but now they didn't perked up they said oh it's our time to shine so they are excited and um, they're doing good now I have some beets over here on this side I'm not seeing nothing come up yet but I'm gonna give it some time on that just walk through here this bed here is full of um, turnip tops. Doesn't make the bottoms, it's just the tops of them. That is a grass. Don't be trying to grow like you a plant. Yeah, turnip green tops. And I planted these back in September. My walking onions are still looking good. And I have peas over there with my um, beets. Anyway, I wasn't trying to do a garden tour. I was kind of just looking to see where I can plant some stuff. I can plant some more stuff in there. Definitely not in this raised bed. I think I have enough stuff in there. My ground chairs are holding in there, y'all. They are holding in there. Oh, I've got a, you know, I'm in the garden. I gotta at least have a snack. Look at that. I seen there are some recipes. If I can get enough of these ground cherries, I would like to do a recipe I seen. But uh, yeah, look at that beauty. And I know somebody had put it in the comments. Uh, this was a gooseberry. No, these are ground cherries. I wish it was as big as a gooseberry, you know. Mmm. That is so delicious. If you haven't had ground cherries, now I have the pineapple ground cherries. I don't know if they taste different than the Aunt Molly's. But I love them. They have the pineapple taste and then the texture kind of of a pear, so you know. It's something to chew on, but I like it. Um, oh, I did have a tray down here. Good, good. I forgot I had a tray sitting here. Nothing in it. I can throw some seeds in there. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> you know I'm talking about him. You gonna say hi to the people, Domino? He's like, nope. <laughs> um, all of these right here are Georgia collops. Mm -hmm. so. And I do have some more containers. Oh, I do have some soil. What am I talking about? I do got a little bit of soil. 
I can put um, some dirt in containers. I mean, some soil in containers and plant something. Look at that, Roma. Just waiting on them. Give me some blushing. And I'm going to snatch them off here. All right, guys. So this is what I'm going to be planting. I'm going to plant some more of the dinosaur kale because none of them have came up. Some perky, purple sprouting broccoli. Um, I haven't seen those come up yet. I have some giant red mustards. These are Japanese red mustards as well. I love these. I'm going to plant more out. And I'll just keep planting them until I start seeing some really come up. Some iceberg lettuce. Now, do I like lettuce? No. But I want to see if I can grow some iceberg lettuce. So, I'm going to grow it, harvest it, give it away. I just want to try it out. Maybe I'll put a couple seeds in a container. And uh, see if I can grow lettuce head. Um, some matador spinach. I have two uh, different companies with this. I am going to plant them both. Big Ruffin Hybrid Spinach. Some Provider Beans. Since the beans like the scene, like the cold weather, I'm putting some Provider Bush Beans in. I'm doing some more lettuce. This is the Romaine Lettuce. Some Endive. I got these seeds from the cold. I'm going to plant them. Here is some Spinach Giant Noble. And some other lettuce, which is the Merlo, uh, Merlot uh, lettuce. I like the little pretty color. Uh, Nicole had these in her garden, and it just made it look beautiful. So, I might use mine just for um, or, um, ornamental. <laughs> I don't know. If my kids want to eat it, they can eat it. So, alright guys, this is what I'm going to be planting out there. I'm not going to take y'all along with the planting today um because it's just gonna be quick i'm just gonna dig a hole throw the seeds in <laughs> nothing professional about that <laughs> all right well i will see y'all in the next video bye